Now, there are still people out there who don't believe in science. Why do some people distrust it? I think people believe you, you, that what... I, I think they, they think that what they want to be true is sufficient for something to be true, and that somehow they don't know that nature is the ultimate judge, jury, executioner, and arbiter of what is true in the natural world. You cannot will something into truth if that is not what nature is. And, and I, I worry that we'll only learn this on the brink of extinction. You know, you sound very frustrated on it. What are, <laughs> what are the most common facts that people refuse to accept about the cosmos? Uh, no, they, I think the basic ones they finally warmed up to, that the universe is old, unless you're a fundamentalist religious. The universe is old, we're expanding, and, but then there's the rise of the flat earthers. Like, who ordered that? You know, where did they come from? And so there are factions out there. I, they found each other. This is the, the new tribalism. That you have an idea that's a little crazy, and in a cocktail party, you'd be the only crazy person with that idea. You type it into a Google search, and you find every other crazy person has the same idea as you do, which, which validates your belief system, making you think that you're thinking rationally when you're not. So all I can do is keep trying. Uh, by the way, this book, Letters from an Astrophysicist, these are people who actually wrote in with these issues. The ones I worry about are the ones that are sure they're right and don't need to have the conversation that I'm offering. Now, there's still so much to learn about the universe. What's something that still completely baffles you? Well, so it's not just me. It baffles all of us in Astro. If it just baffled me, I'd say, I got to go back to the, you know, read up on this. But I can speak of what baffles us all. That's, that's a bigger baffle than just what baffles Neil deGrasse Tyson. We don't know what 85% of the gravity of the universe comes from. This is the famous dark matter. Right? 85% of all the gravity we measure in the universe has an unknown origin. Also, the universe is mysteriously accelerating in its expansion against the wishes of gravity. We, call, we measure this. It's called dark energy. We don't know what's causing that either. Dark energy plus dark matter is 95% of what is driving the universe, and we are completely baffled. Right? Just, just, it's humbling, by the way. A couple of other things. We don't know it was around before the Big Bang, but we have top people investigating it. Also, I want to know how we go from organic molecules to self-replicating life on Earth. That transition is still a bit of a mystery. If we understand that, it'll give us very deep insights into the nature of life, not only here on Earth, but likely elsewhere in the galaxy. <laughs> I'll tell you, Neil, you're starting to lose me on the end of that one. But anyway, <laughs> what do you most hope people will take away from your work? The good thing about science and the objective truths it establishes is that it's true whether or not you believe in it. So at some point, we need, as a nation, but also as a world, need to recognize the value of what scientists are doing in this world and heed that advice before it's too late. <laughs>